Hey, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. How y'all doing today? Today we're going to talk about a gutter cleaner, do-it-yourself gutter cleaner. So we just use a half-inch PVC. Um, depending upon your angle of your gutter, basically, uh, as you can see, this these ends have holes in them, so the water can squirt out. And I actually aimed the holes so that they're this one's spraying out and the other one's spraying out and the bottom one is spraying up slightly so it has a certain angle to it. And so basically you could cut your size according to what you need and then you get a fitting for the end. Ideally you want to have an on-off valve for the end. Um, I actually had one here a minute ago, but the neighbor kids ran off with it. They just seemed to like it. Anyway, uh, so basically we just put that on there and then you hook your hose in here. And then once you've got water pressure going, you can go up in your gutters and you set that in there and then set it down in there and spray away and that way you don't have to get up on the roof and uh, endanger yourself with uh, slipping. So that's my rain gutter cleaner. Do it yourself. Costs about 10 bucks to make. Now, normally these are glued with PVC. This top part here um, I, I actually haven't glued it together, but you can use, what I commonly use is the goop, goop stuff, because it's not a regular water line, not under constant pressure. You could probably use that glue, goop glue. Uh, ideally, these fittings up here, you probably want to use PVC because you don't want to have these fall off when you're, uh, you want to use the PVC cement because you don't want to have these fall off when you're uh, trying to clean the gutters. And so this stuff cuts pretty easy with PVC. You got a sharp hacksaw. It'll clean up real easily. Actually, I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to use these primer and glue on this. So basically what you want to do is you want to make sure your surfaces are clean. I have this little scrubber thing here I like to use and make sure everything's clean. Then you put your and put your primer on first. Now this is the screw on uh, for the hose end. I'm actually going to beef this up. I'm putting the larger size in and I'm going to reduce it down to a half inch. Um, and I'll put the, ideally you'd want to have your valve here but I've got a small one so I'm going to put it up at the other end where the half inch starts. I'm going to put the hose connection right here. And so we're going to make sure this is all cleaned up nice here. And we're going to add a little primer to it. And we just let this sort of soak in a little bit. And then we're going to put, I'm going to keep this stuff clean. I'm going to put a little bit of primer on the other end. And so the primer, ideally, you could put a couple of coats of primer on if you want. Uh, this is not critical because it's just a, a gutter cleaner. And so what we're going to do is put a little bit of glue on the PVC glue. And on both 
both ends. And so, let's put her together like so. And that should be good. So that's the hose end right there. We hook the hose onto that. And then we're going to put the half inch, we're going to put a reducer, and then we'll put the valve right up here. And I'm going to cut down the half inch a little okay, bit. Okay, I've got my reducer on and I've cut and cleaned this ed, edge here. And I'm going to put this valve here. And so, and then we'll put the other half inch connection here. And then we'll add the, the cleaning end, the thing that goes in the gutter, to the other end of the half inch. Okay, so, long story short, you have learned the process at this point. Basically, I'm just going to duplicate what I've done before, adding more parts. So we add a little primer. And I like to prime both ed ends, and you can uh, prime whatever you want. Uh, supposedly this type here does not need primer, but I like the idea of priming it just because I'm old fashioned. And then we just take a little bit of glue. And we're going to apply it to both ends. Not too much, just enough to goop it up. And then I'm going to put it on both pieces. Make sure you get a nice coat. You can put a couple coats on it, but this stuff dries pretty quick, so you can't let it dry too long. So there's the one valve. Then we're going to put the other end, half inch end on, and then we'll add the sprayer head to the half inch. And so once again, we just clean it up. Now this stuff actually ideally should set up for a good hour before you wiggle this stuff. Um, so make sure it's nice and clean. Add a little primer. like to make sure both ends are primed and clean. And then you can read the instructions. I think it says that you can put the, the glue on with the primer still wet. And you can put a couple of coats of primer on if you want. But since this is not critical, I'm just going to kind of do it the way I've done it before and it worked so we just goop it on yeah this stuff is gnarly smelling stuff man so um, using a well ventilated area as you notice on the outside so yeah this is Christie's supposed to be the best I don't know, I'm not really a plumber, I just, I'm just a handyman. Number one rated finest. Piece it together. And so we've got just pretty much all together now. And thanks for watching. If you need any help, you can contact me. Have a great day.